Hey, everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on my notification icon. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So, in the previous video I dropped, I actually gave out a challenge that anybody actually did the picture to my liking and also followed the other instruction. We'll be giving my free pack, though many of you guys took it for granted because I only got a few delivery. But I actually found someone who actually edited the picture to my liking, and his name is uh, the official. He sent the picture to me via Telegram, which I'll be posting on my IG and the very soon. You can just go and follow me there to see the results. And also, you'll be getting my full pack, both my oldest uh, files and my newest collection will be given to him for free of charge. So, I'll be dropping more challenges like this from time to time to make sure you guys actually get things to practice with and also be able to actually get some of my files for free so with no further ado let's jump back into action in the previous video i dropped i think the last two video i actually show you guys how to actually generate picture using adobe creative cloud so i actually generated some other backdrops there i generated some which are very very nice with just few instructions i was able to generate nice backdrop so these are some of the backdrop i actually did generate once i actually know how to do that watch my previous video just go there and watch this so i'll be giving about three of these backdrop for you guys to actually download for free and i'll be using this for the particular picture i'll be editing today so i'll be showing you how to actually use it easily it's just very very simple and straightforward so i won't be doing any retouching in this picture all i'll just be working on just the background the first thing i just need to do is to separate my subject from the background i know i actually usually do that so the first step is for me to duplicate my background background layer by clicking on ctrl j ctrl or command if you're using a macbook it should be a command key there but if you're using a window it should be a control there so ctrl j that's the first option the next option is for you to select your subject so there are many tools to actually to select subject uh we have the polygonal exit tool we have the quick selection tool so etc etc but i already make my selection because this is a picture i've actually worked on before so i'll just go back and actually load the selection back i'll go to my selection settings load selection and i'm going to bring back my selection you can see already i'm already done with the settings before so if you want to know how to receive something like this or you want to know how to retouch to remove your background perfectly from the background there are tons of video on my channel i have one where right, it's videos relating to background manipulation so you can actually learn from the easy peasy so once you're done with this right now you're done with the selection just right click on your subject and go to feather so just feather about two pixel is okay then you click on ok then max your subject right now so you already removed the background from your subject but you won't actually know what you just did right now until you have to turn off your background layer and turn it back on so you're going to see that the subject is no longer on the background of this layer so that being said right now go back to your background layer and duplicate it again by clicking on ctrl j this time around let's name this new background layer let's name it modify let's name it modify so what you just need to do now is to hold your control key down and click on the max of this layer one over here click on the max for it to bring back our selection for us once you're done with that just go to select on that select go to modify then expand by 8 pixel click on your ok after that pick your polygonal axle tool then add the areas you want to remove blemishes from to the selection so this area here right now i don't want this to be here so i'm going to add this to my selection as you can see so this area also i'm going to be adding it to my selection also i'll add it to my selection you can see so i'll add to the selection this area also i'm going to add it to the selection so i'll add everything up like this as you can see right now so all i just need to do right now is to do what you just to right click on it then i'll go to fill under fill i'll make sure i'm clicking content away all adaptation must be turned on my blend mode must be on normal my opacity must be at 100 percent and click on ok so i'll just wait for the ai to actually do the job for us we want to fill all these blemishes up to actually make it look very very smooth so let's wait and see what is actually going to give to us so if you are interested in getting my picture editing files they are available for sale in my store you can just go to my store and purchase them today they are going to improve your picture editing skills including my 
master course is also dead soon. You need to make you become a good manipulator in no time. So welcome back to business right now. So we have to be expanded this, then control D to the select. You can see we've cleaned off all the area we want to clean off. It's kind of actually okay right now. So you can decide to actually blow this background to actually remove all the blemishes, but we won't be doing that in this picture. Let's just jump straight and bring it in our overlay and see what it's actually going to give us right now. So I'll just go back to my file manager. I will, I will drag in the overlay right now. This overlay will be actually making use of today. Just drag it in. Just drag it into my Photoshop. You can see. Wait for it to load up. Then I'm going to expand it. Or expand it. See, I see fit. It's actually fitting in a perfect position I want it to be. It's fitting in a perfect position I actually want it to be. I think around this way is okay. Around this way is okay. Around this way is okay. I just have to click on my OK. You can see right now. Look at how smooth our background is right now. Look at how I'm even here to do change it to soft light or anything. Look at how cool our background looks right now. So you can now decide to leave it this way and clean off this edge, or you can turn it to soft light. So first let's go to soft light and see what it's going to give us. From normal, bring it down, let's turn it to soft light. And boom. Look at how it's blending in perfectly with our background. Someone that I didn't even see when we actually brought this in. My thought is the way our backdrop is. Look at how nice and sleek it actually look right now. So here it's giving us a sharp line. Just create a max on it. Pick your normal brush. Pick your normal brush. Make sure this color is on black. Then make sure your opacity is at 100. Then clean up the edge like this. So that it won't look all that sharp at the edge again. So that it won't look obvious. And boom, look at what you just actually created right now. Look at how nice our backdrop looks right now. Some might actually think this is actually a studio backdrop without knowing this backdrop is, is being manipulated. So this backdrop will be given to you guys for free of char charge to actually download and use to your own taste. So that being said right now, the next thing we actually need to do right now is to go back to our uh, uppermost layer and start color grading. So I'll just be using the strong color grading technique, which is my gradient map. I'll just go to my adjustment layer, I'll click on my gradient map, and I'm going to open it up, go to where my skin tones are. I'll open it up, and I'm going to pick the one I actually want to use, which is this one. I'll click on my OK. You might be thinking, what am I doing so far? Because this is actually giving us total rubbish. But as you all know, when it comes to auto manipulation, all I use is soft lights. So I'll just change the blend mode from normal. I'll bring it down to soft lights. Right now, you can see it's making sense. But if the color is too much you're liking, just go to the opacity and reduce it to you see fit. And boom, we've gotten ourselves a nice video backdrop generated using AI. So you can take your time and generate as many backdrop as possible if you have to buy their premium file. Uh, but if you have to actually be if you're using their free version, you have just over 25 trials. That means out of that 25 trials, each trial will give you four different outcome of images. So from there, you have about 100 files to be generated. In the matter of one month, and I think 100 is okay when it comes to free version for a single month. So, if you want more, you can just actually buy their premium, and I think it's very, very affordable with less than $25. So, you can just get them and actually generate as much as many backgrounds as possible. So, don't forget to subscribe and also share with a friend. Someone out there might be in need of this. See you guys in my next tutorial. Reflex out.